Okay, probability. With probability, the most simplified version of it is what you're aiming for divided by what you could get. Now, sometimes it's going to involve permutations. Sometimes it's going to involve combinations. Permutation is when the order is important. You're arranging a set of items, not using all of them, and the order is important. A combination is when you have a group of items. You, you have a lot of things, but you're going to make the group smaller, and the order is unimportant. Okay, so let's do the first problem. The probability of, sol of randomly selecting five hearts from a deck of cards. We're going to use a standard um, deck of 52 cards. And there are 13 hearts, and there are 52 cards. And we're assuming they're shuffled well and all that good stuff. So 13 hearts and 52 cards. Knowing that, we're going to see what the probability is of selecting five hearts. There's multiple ways of doing this. We're just going to do it one card at a time and use one of the keywords that's very important. The probability that we pull out a heart the first time is 13 out of 52. Okay, well they keep dealing so they are not going to put this card back. So then we're going to have a 12 out of 51 chance. So let's assume we got a heart. Now we're going to get another heart. And now we're going to get another heart. And now we're going to get another heart. And now we're going to get the fifth heart. Notice the word I said in there that was incredibly important. I said the word and, and it means multiply when it comes to probability. I know I may have said that um, or means multiply. It's in different situations, but when it comes to probability, and means multiply. So we're going to multiply all these. We want this and this and this and this and this. We will simply type that in the calculator and then we'll get an answer. Now, sometimes they'll put it as a decimal, sometimes they'll put it as a percent. It's just a matter of preference. I'm actually going to do both. Be careful, make sure you're typing everything correctly. Okay, here's my answer, and it looks kind of ridiculous, but it is 4.95. I'm going to write it exactly the way it is in the calculator. Funny looking capital E and then negative 4. What that really means is this. This is 4.95 times 10 to the negative 4. If we move the decimal over the appropriate number of places, this is 0.000495. That is a really slim chance you're going to get a five card hand of all hearts. That is a 0.0495% chance.